What's going on guys? Um, I just finished, well not finished, but almost finished harvesting a, uh, a dubia bin that I put together on September 5th with 1700 grams in it of uh, extra larges. And I'm just gonna show you the outcome of my first harvest. It is January 11th, 2022. So it's been just about four months and let's go through it. All right, so these are the dubia that came out of it. This is the frass in the bottom. Yeah, there's still a couple left in there. I'm gonna sift those out in a second. Uh, I think this is pretty full of babies as well. So those are gonna go through my system. Let me do that real quick and I'll show you what's left. All right, so this is what didn't fall through the quarter inch screen. There's a couple adults and mediums and probably some larges in there as well. That's gonna go in the first bin. Dumping that allows me to easily pull out just a few. Let me see if I can show you this here. So that's what's left. You can see over here, there's a couple fighting. So what I do is I just take an egg crate. That's gonna go in here and go on my little egg crate mountain. Um, so now we're gonna start sifting through these guys. The bin I just wiped down real quick. I don't, I'm not doing a full wipe right now because it's winter time. I can't bring it outside. It's a little chilly. Um, this is the babies that came out of just the frass. So I'm gonna have to get rid of this little stuff on top and we should be left with just a bunch of babies. Um, these will all get added into the end. There's some cleaner beetles in here and stuff. Um, yeah. Okay, sorry for the stoppage. I don't have a YouTube channel or supplies that other YouTubers do. So this is what we ended up getting left with um, for babies. It's gonna go in here. I'm gonna put this off to the side. We're gonna start sifting through this. Um, I'll see if I can try and speed it up. Like I said, I'm not YouTube editor savvy yet, but the adults will go in here for the most part. I'm not gonna make this perfect because they're all going back in the same bin to grow. Uh, a little more. Actually, some of these are going out for sale. So just some will go back in. Let's see. This one's cracked. These were all extra larges. I didn't count out a ratio. Um, so what we get is what we get.
so this is uh what's left for our babies we're gonna put them in here we do have a couple super super tiny ones in there i can't argue to get every single one um i'd be here for days on end just getting a couple of these small guys out um what i can do just slap it upside down sometimes that works so i put 1700 grams in here to start september 25th or sorry september 5th with um just extra larges i'm gonna go measure these babies and we're gonna measure the adults and see what's left give me one sec We came out to 209 grams of babies. I'm assuming this is gonna be around 2,300. That was close. 2,050 grams of adults. So in total, I guess 2,300. Um, these are gonna go back in the bin. Let me see if I can uh, fix this up here. Just a stand. So here's our bin. What I do with this top one is I put it over the food. That way I'll, they all don't fall into there. Let these guys slide out real quick. A lot of these are looking like they're still pregnant. So I think we're going to see <clears throat> some good production here in about a month. Um, I'm going to put a tag on the front label here and we'll be good to go. These babies I'm going to actually sit and I have to put out for, uh, some shipments going out tomorrow. So they're going out with some new breeders. So we're giving them some, about 200 babies. I think I have about 200 adults to pull for tomorrow's orders, but, um, let me know what your thoughts are. How many think are here and, uh, what do you think the next harvest is going to be?